joining me today in a daytime TV exclusive. Please welcome the Breta Tat Tat and Judy Dufour. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> you look so beautiful. You both look beautiful. You both fascinate me. I know you both are big personalities. And when you walked out, like two little shy people, I was like, wait a minute. You have these alter egos, both of you. You are on screen and it's in on the stage, and you're, and then you walk out like. Hey, y'all. Oh, no. Hi, Tim, man. <laughs> People don't realize how shy you are. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> yep. And when we were last together, that was your first interview as a couple. How has it been since you went public with your relationship, Brett? Oh, it's been great. I mean, it's like a weight lifted. I feel free. Child, my hair is all the pride colors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's just a beautiful thing. I have an amazing wife who not only, you know, compliments me, but I get to learn things from her. She's so smart in areas that I have no clue about. And she stays on me when I mess up. You when know? you mess up. Yeah. Which is not often. It's, but Judy... A lot of people can't do that. They can't <laughs> right. hang with me. You know a lot of people shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. Judy, I mean, it's interesting because they always tell you someone can't make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. And on the Brad's journey, she found a way to make herself happy, but then you completed that wheel for her. When you look back now as newlyweds, that you tied the knot. You didn't mm. just come out. You came out and then got married. How does it feel for you? Um, it's, it's exhilarating. It's, um, I, I have this thing that I tell her often about um, even a coming out journey. I, we, we discussed a lot on it. And I said, often, you know, I know I'm inspiration to you, but make sure that you're not doing this for me. Oh. Do not do this for me. Why do you, you say know? that to her? Because I feel like, as human beings, I, like, people can regret something if they've done it for someone else versus them doing it for themselves. So once we came to um, an agreement that this was for her and that she was, you know, she was ready and it was, it was from being inspired by and it wasn't for me, that was when, because I was 100% uncomfortable with her, you know, because in the beginning I it was... I think that is such a... You are such a strong person, and I think that is a very strong thing to say to someone... Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. And have her reach inside to answer that question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that is that is a very smart thing to ask. Were you nervous to ask her that? Yes and no. I feel like our relationship is really close. And I feel like um, I've been very transparent with her uh, along the whole way. So, you know, even with her being scared, too, she was the one to make the first move when we were in public. She was <laughs> the one that held my hand, you know? <laughs> I was on, I was like, girl. Yeah, she was like, living my life with me, like, right, behind was, closed you, doors. You slid in and grabbed her hand? Yeah, we yeah. were in public, and I just we wanted to hold Essence her hand. We were at Essence Festival. And there's about 20,000 people there. Yeah, so yeah. her team got so nervous. They, somebody else grabbed my other hand, and somebody grabbed to her To make it look like we, we were doing us. <laughs> like y'all were praying. <laughs> I mean, so, so that's so interesting. So your team knew, yeah. but they were trying to protect you. And here you are at Essence Festival, the, one of the largest festivals in the country. You grab her hand, and the team swoops in, trying to mm -hmm. save you mm -hmm. from scrutiny. Right. Yep. How how much of your life was like that? Where the team, where you wanted to, but the team or the people around you were trying to protect you by not letting you do it. I've never wanted to. Before. You never wanted. I've, to. I've never wanted to uh, display PDA. Uh, public affection at all with anybody. So it was cool with me, you know, being in the closet, being, you know, just doing my thing on my own behind closed doors. I've never been publicly affectionate with anybody. So when they saw me hold her hand <laughs> and they all grabbed hands like we were all getting ready to pray. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, guys, it's okay. And they're like, no, grab her hand. We're all walking together. We're all going to hold hands. We're going to hold hands. <laughs> so, you know, they had to get used to it. They were very scared and paranoid. Like, what is going on? And then we got backstage. I, like, kissed her. They were like, please tell us what is going on. Like, it, they, they were so paranoid. Oh, my gosh.